All right, hello guys, welcome to English Hangover. This is Juan and Ken. Today we're going to look at exaggeration collocations. Perfect. Yes, we are. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to English Hangover. This is Juan and Kent, and today we're going to look at exaggeration collocations. And these are useful if you want to express to somebody how strongly you feel about something. All right, so let's jump in. All right. All right, so number one is I'm dying. It basically means uh, I'm re I really, really, really want something. And you can use it in two ways. You can say, I'm dying for, plus a noun, or I'm dying to, plus a verb. So for example, you could say, I'm dying for a cup of coffee right now, or I'm dying to go to that concert. Okay, the second expression we're going to look at is, it burns me up inside, or a short version of it is, it burns me up. This means that there's some sort of a situation that makes you really angry or frustrated. It's like, imagine you have fire inside you and that's when you say, it burns me up inside. For instance, uh, it burns me up inside when I hear that in some countries, uh, pay is not equal for men and women for the same job. Another variation of it burns me up inside is it drives me up the wall. It's probably a little bit, bit less intense uh, compared to it burns me up inside because it means frustration. Expression number three is a million times. This is a great expression to sh express to somebody that something has happened again and again and again. For example, I've told you a million times to clean up your stuff. I've asked you a million times to clean up your stuff. It's perfect for these kinds of situations where you feel a little bit frustrated about something. So this fourth expression we use for uh, when we love somebody so very much. Some people might say that it's a little bit cheesy, but I don't know, babe, I love you to the moon and back. So, you know, maybe your partner is asking like, how much do you love me? So you want to like measure in distance. Well, I love you to, 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 to the moon and back. The next one is for ages or forever. And we can use either of these, usually at the end of the sentence, to express that something is taking, has taken, will take a long, long time. For example, we can say, I've been waiting for ages for you. Why aren't you here? Lord. <laughs> <laughs> the next exaggeration is can live without. We use this expression uh, for when we need something. For example, I can't live without music. I need it all the time. Can't live without, well, can't, can't live without me. Uh, <laughs> I can't live without being creative or I can't live without travel. Smashed, trashed, or wasted. All of these show, yeah, there's nothing to say really. Right? <laughs> All of these mean that you are really, really drunk. All right, so this next exaggeration is when something is absolutely amazing and we say out of this world. We use it for two things, food and probably performances. So the first time I tried sushi, I thought it was out of this world. And when I saw Shakira live a long time ago, I thought her performance was out of this world. You're killing me. And you could also say, it's killing me. This is really great to show frustration, that you're really frustrated about something that's happening. Maybe your friend's always late. You're killing me here. God, get it together, man. Or you could say, man, it's killing me the way I have to work overtime all the time. Uh, hey, Juan. Yeah? You know, when we're doing the shots, if you can like show up a little bit earlier, that would be great, just because I've been waiting for ages to do this one. Well, I've told you a million times to remember your lines, and you know, this is like the seventh time we record this. 
Okay, well, dude, it drives me up the wall when you forget to put on your mic and we lose like a million shots. Well, it burns me up inside when you think you can wing it, but then you mess it up while we were recording. Dude, I'm dying to see you do this by yourself. Dude, you can't live without me. Dude, you're killing me. You're right. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too, big guy. How much? To the moon and back? Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like if you like, it would mean the world to us. And we'll see you next time.